Okay, so here we've got the GL reactor that's up for sale. We've got this hot water cylinder and pipe work down here. Um, we've got an inlet here which you can pour the oil in there. Okay. Um, hot water pump. There's a temperature gauge to tell you the temperature of the oil at the bottom. Is I've got a minimum oil level, um, and you can tell with your sight tube at the back here what your oil level is. Um, the usual GL reactor stuff. Um, we've got stuff up here, a venturi and whatnot. This venturi isn't working very well, um, along with this uh, bend here. But what I've got couple of things that I was going to add in which, which I'll throw in as well. I've got this um, bit that will go in here basically and this Venturi it should work a lot better. Um, you'll have to fit those yourself but I'm sure you'll probably manage with that. Um, what else have we got here? When you're draining your oil off and you're finished your biodiesel off and you're ready to uh, let it settle. It goes into this drum here and it settles in there. And then what happens is when you want to take it off and actually put it into your car, open valves here, open various other valves, and it pumps through and it comes up and it goes through these two filters and then this tube here you bring down and you put it into your container like this one, and then that basically gets your biodiesel out. I've probably had about um, three or four hundred litres at least out of this. I didn't use it much because I was running mostly in vegetable oil, it was just for my startup tank. Um, but it certainly works, and it works very well. Any questions, just give me a shout. Oh, the other thing is, I've got a wee red light here so you know when the heater's on, which can be pretty helpful. Stop you putting it on by mistake.